fade in. Hello, I am Michelle. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are at Force of Light Entertainment. Well, if I sound off, it's because I've been dealing with a lot of... she is off. I've been dealing with a lot of allergies and yeah, just it's not been fun, guys. So my voice is a little distorted from allergies, but I will press through. Because yesterday was the, I believe, the first day of filming for Indiana Jones 5. And we've already got some, some leaks from the set. So we want to look at some of these leaks and some of the things that people have already kind of concluded, or at least it seems like. And let us know from in the comments leaks. how many Indiana Jones fans we have in here. Yeah, because Indiana Jones was, it was another trilogy. Of course, uh, Spielberg and Lucas together, Ford, um, that we grew up watching all the time. In fact, last summer when the movie theaters reopened, I got for the first time to see all three of the original Indiana Jones trilogy. Um, and I know there's the fourth one that came out later, which I did see actually opening nine theaters too, but I got to see the original three that I never got to see in theaters. That in was, theaters. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun to see it on the big screen. And so we're big Indiana Jones fans. Um, I'm a little unsure where I stand with this movie. It just all depends on what we get. We'll see. I'll, I'll definitely be going to see it whenever it comes out. So, but let's go ahead and take a look at these, these, uh, these pictures. And let me switch over here. So we've got and shout out to Plex Reel. Uh, you can find news like this on plexreel.com. Um, but anyways. So let's first actually go down to these sets and we have someone on a bike. And as they point out, it's like, and they're like, why is someone holding a head? <laughs> actually, I think, I think, you know, just a typical day on set. No, I think what it is, is they've got the stunt man in a mask of Harrison Ford because they're probably going to do like the de-aging thing, which is what Plex oh, Real is yeah, yeah. brought up. And of course, they just shot, they started shooting in England. Um, so let's see, here's the picture. There's the mouth of the field. But here's the picture Cute. of Harrison Ford himself. And of course, Kathleen Kennedy next to him. Um, but yeah, so there's kind of that that first first set picks that I don't we know got. If I'll say she's cute right now. But well, I mean, for her age, she you know, she stayed lean. No, that that her looks is not my issue. <laughs> no, that's not the issue. I just it's cute seeing him like in the the old uh, costume. It is. Um, yeah, I wonder if Kathleen will be a backup dancer like she was in Temple of Doom in this this new movie. I did not know that. Yeah. Very, so uh, let's very nice. let's let's go over. We'll go back to here. But yeah, that's so that is the these. Uh, here, I'll scroll up so you guys can see it. These set photos that we've got. And uh, yeah, so I've kind of got just kind of talking about questions that this has. For starters, there are actually more photos than I found on this this um, article that were released. It's like, guys, uh, it's day one. How many pictures are we going to get? <laughs> At this rate, a lot, right? <laughs> like maybe, maybe uh, kind of chill it. You know, it's Slow nice. Slow it down a little. It's, a little anticipation bill. Yeah, it's nice to see him in the, in the costume and everything, but that, that's about all we really want to see. But as Plexro brought up in that article, and again, you can find that at plexreal.com, uh, it does seem, and that's what I'm kind of wondering, I feel like from that, probably the opening scene will be going back in time and be a de-aged Harrison Ford. Cool. Um, that's, I like it. That's what, if I'm guessing, that's what I think we just saw in that. That's my guess on that. Um, but what we'll see as far as that, because the de-aging has come such a long way. I mean, yes. they can make, and if you guys saw, didn't really love the, the movie, but th that Terminator, I mean, that looked like Sarah yeah. Connor from the early nineties. I mean, it's did. crazy. And, it, and Arnold. And Arnold. Yeah. And even like, uh, that one with Robert Downey Jr. That Marvel movie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They I did I thought it. they did a pretty good job making him like a teenager. And that was even kind of, I think they've come a long ways from even then. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the de-aging is, is good. So they'll probably do that, but, but kind of questions I have for this movie, which again, I'll wait, I'll reserve judgment for when I actually go see the movie. Um, the only thing that I can say that it's kind of like, I haven't been super pumped because to me, 
I mean, I, I had fun with Crystal Skull when it came out, when I saw it in theater. But, I have not seen that one. But to me, Indiana Jones is that original trilogy. I did like in Crystal Skull. The one thing I really liked is that he ended up with uh, Karen Allen and came back as Miriam. And I, I thought it was nice that they ended up together. They believe they get married, if I recall at the end. Because they just seem like a good match for one another. They do. So they, that, they have the same adventurous spirit. They do. So I enjoyed that. So... With James Mangold, who, of course, he's writing and directing, and he did Logan, which everyone liked, but obviously famously let Logan die at the end. And with us knowing that this is the the fifth and final Indiana Jones, I just really hope he doesn't try to do a Logan and kill Indiana Jones. Like, different yeah. movies, don't go there. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, Indiana Jones... He's just the, he's a guy who's going to survive. We need Mr. Jones. Yeah, he's if they if they killed him, I would hate I would hate it. So they can't do that. And I really hope after the the one thing I like from Crystal Skull really is of course like I said him getting back with Miriam. If they begin this movie and we find out that she is uh dead and Indy's like an old grouchy man because he's lost the love of his life. I'm not going to be happy with that either. So I'm wondering, will Karen Allen be back in it? Because I feel like to make us happy, you need to bring her back once more. Uh, even if she's not in it much, I feel yeah, like she should be her. in it. Because yeah. the only other route to that is they got divorced or she died, uh, which either route I'm not a big fan of personally. So we'll kind of see. And the only other thing we know about this movie is that it's set in the 1960s. Um, it's an interesting time period. Yeah, uh, yeah, it could, we'll, we'll see what they do with it. I mean, that's kind of, obviously, as the Cold War is really beginning and the space race and all that type of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, so we'll see what Indy's going to fight in this one. I'm not really sure at this point. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of it. Again, we, we just have this, uh, this set photo. The one thing I will point out is that Missing from the set photo is George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. And I'm, I'm not super excited to get an Indiana Jones that doesn't have them working on it. It's just kind of their thing and yeah. their creation together. And I just never could get off the ground. And it's almost like you almost feel like, should it get off the ground? I don't know. Um, and again, all reserve judgment. I will wait and go see this movie, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see guys. I mean, Harrison Ford, he looks amazing for his age, but he is like, like 80 or almost 80. I was going to say, <laughs> he, he's getting up there. He's, he's not a spring chicken. He's definitely not. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, maybe the stunt person, maybe they're just having people do the, all his stunts in general because he's 80. All so. right, Michelle, I think it's time for our loyal subscribers that have been with us a while for them to know the truth. What? We actually installed some DHEs. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Software on our camera. I'm actually 92 years old. <laughs> Michelle, how, how old are you again? So you're, you're so 90. I guess that would make me 90. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It works pretty well. As you can see, this is at home software. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's that good. It's we, really we tr good. Tricks on you guys. But um, she's obviously. Link being... in description to get your. <laughs> she's obviously being ridiculous. But. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> that's, that's her role here at Force Light Entertainment. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that's kind of it. That's all we see thus far. It'll be interesting to see kind of what comes, what what more information we get from this movie. But share your thoughts below. Let us know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Did this picture excite you or not? What, what are your kind of thoughts on this movie? Uh, but share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm. But that is it for this show, this episode of Force of Light Entertainment. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to be, be a, a Force, Force of Light. Light. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.